Welcome to episode 25 of Reclaiming Rome. Uh, a little different this time. I'm actually live streaming on twitch.tv slash the shaded one. Because one, um, I wanted to play and it's Saturday afternoon and I want to play a lot. So I'm probably going to do a batch of, of games live and cut them down for YouTube. Um, everything before this has been done offline and kind of focused on the content in those 30 minute sub episodes while this is probably going to be a little more free form though i'm going to make some cuts and, and edit it so it is more cohesive you just probably won't see an intro every every episode it'll be a little more a little more free throwing free flowing my brain just exploded free flowing from episode to episode so just wanted to give you a heads up on that um it's really just because i probably want to i probably play for like four or five hours so i'm gonna get like 10 episodes knocked out and just really go through it um it's been a little bit since i played so let's jump in and see where we are all right so we're back here if you don't know we're in the kingdom of romagna we got independence a couple episodes ago well actually a little while ago um and I think the important thing to know is right now, France, Francia has been the strongest power in the game. Them and the Byzantines. The Byzantines are scary. Them and the Byzantines have been the two strongest powers in the game for basically the entire game. Um, in the last succession war, however, the Empire of Italia actually became stronger than, than France. Like, the, the succession was really weird, where... This guy actually got more power, and, and the Italian portion is actually stronger than the France portion. So now Italy is attacking France to get the Empire of France. I know, it's confusing. So what, what's going to happen, in essence, is that France isn't going to exist much longer, and it's going to be all Italia until this guy dies, because he's 51, so he's in good health, but... He's 51, so he'll probably pass soon. And then you have this guy, Arnul, who's probably going to get the majority of it. This guy will probably end up getting um, France. So, once they take France. So, they may not have it for long, but they're going to have it. So, what am I doing? I have currently a rebellion going on. It's a peasant rebellion, so there's nothing crazy. I'm not really worried about it. But... The biggest thing I need to keep my head on the swivel about is the Byzantines, because they have a lot of people. Um, they are very strong, so it's going to be quite difficult to keep them from eating me. Even though I do have some allies. Um, they're not really good allies. So, going to be very interesting to see what I can continue to do. And if you look right now, I can... I'm above the domain limit. I'm leaving it that way. Um, I need to help this guy. Here you go. Um, I want to create that kingdom because then it'll split my my uh, my nation. So basically, I can declare war on Italy, Tyrol. I can go for the Duchy of Tyrol, but they're being attacked right now. Um and Hungary, so I'm just going to continue wait and, and work on the Duchy of Corinthia, and then maybe I'll go for Hallstatt. I'm going up to try to get as much land as I can, continue to build power, and if I get to the point where I can buy some more of these, I will actually make some more duchies and give them away. I have dynasty members I'm not going to use. My main strength that we have is we're the farthest ahead in tech, by a good bit. Um, I'm not sure I want that. Maybe I just push armillary sphere so we get it really quickly. He doesn't have really good learning, so he, he doesn't really help me that much. I was looking for this guy. The guy keeps running away. I'm just sitting here waiting. Okay. Okay. 
halfway to that. Salzburg beat Tyrol for this. Which is fine. Pelier is alive. Got some good stuff there. Mostly I will just be trying to get the most out of this. We'll see what happens though. Um, I need to, I do want, I do plan on building more duchies out. Go get that guy. Chase this dude down. Don't you run away from me. Don't you do it. Don't you run away from me. He stopped. All right, good. Told you not to run away from me. Now you did. All right, and then this can you go back to Firenze and disband. Yes. Okay. I need. I own the county of Leibniz. Great. Doesn't matter. Um, you can actually go for that if you want, though. But why are you here? You need to disband too. <laughs> why are you? I forgot. I, I hit. I hit. Uh, raise all instead of raise local. Totally my fault. Warning lifestyle perk. I always go for warning lifestyle, even if the guy doesn't really have good learning because it's it's going to build my stats. Of money. All right, we're going to go to war with this guy. Use your ally. You got some some strong allies. You have strong allies, but you're also not strong enough. As weird as that is to say. This guy doesn't have, she has like half of her army, and this guy is, yeah, I'm not too worried about these people. Can I go to war with you? 25.95, okay. Feel pretty good about that. We can go to, to each one, back to back. I have the bigger one in, in Nittlefeld, and then, and then Gross. Okay, seems pretty simple. Take the claim. Yes. Okay, so we're going to raise all our armies. I want them to attack me, actually. As funny as that is. Pretty much I'm just going to siege it and just ignore them because they're just not strong enough to actually fight me and if they do attack which they may they may try to push around and attack this army I will just go support it it's in planes I'm not super worried about a planes attack what are you going for it Let's see if I split off procedures Yeah, see, they're not going to actually attack. I just had three times the amount of men, so it's going to be an easy win. We won! Awesome! We won the crusade! Good for us.
Wait, dude's in my dynasty? Oh, nice. Who's your dad? Lit. I'm not gonna play as that guy. Why would I do that? Nice. Good job, Gilberto. Let's go kill this man. I need to do something. Did I? Dude, stop it. Good fight, though. Should be over. I own the Duchess. Yeah, I, I, I own the Duchess. I, I own. I capture the Duchess. Nittelfeld is also mine. Who's this going to? Lan Franco. Going to zero. I have too many, too many sons, man. <laughs> too much land, too many sons. There we go. They're all gone. Okay. You can go for Hallstatt. What's my main air getting? Getting Romagna, Ancona, County of Ancona, County of Canton, and Jubio. Only getting three. Yuck. It's big gross. That's big gross. That's what I want, eventually. Can probably ransom people. Okay. Cool. Well, that. have it let's usurp that duchy what's the duchy of Corinthian it's all that
Who's your mom? Oh, it's, it's your, your nephew. Alright, so the big thing I need to just be aware of is... I have this? That's a six pro a six holding barony? What the fudge sickle? That's bonkers, dude. I asked me how to pay for gold, hell yeah. Big gold energy. Gubio. Need to upgrade that. Yes, sir. All right, I need, I have four. I need to give this duchy away to somebody. Who's gonna inherit it? Lanfranco? Does Lanfranco get like this? Yeah, he gets that. Who gets this? Ciro? Why does he get like all this stuff? Like Mariano, What? what is? What's he, what's he actually going to get? The Duchy of Istria and the County Pula. Oh, here, I'll give it to him. Here, take it. There you go. Take it. Who gets Lujublana Ambrosio? Yeah, cool. I love getting free perks, dude. Boom. Get that warning higher. I'm trying to be smart. I'm trying to be big smart, baby. Yeah, big pasty does. That's the the problem is, is that I had too many kids. I mean, I have ten kids. So, and I haven't done a great job of c keeping my holdings. If I'm being completely honest with you, I the one thing about playing it somewhat blind is basically what I've done is play the somewhat blind with the idea of you know eventually overcoming these two massive empires between me is that I've made a lot of mistakes. There's no doubt about it. <laughs> but it's fun. Um, let's see. I just need I need something good to happen for me, but the dang Byzantines just keep conquering everyone without any, any trouble. One way I really feel good about maybe defeating them is them getting in war with Italy somehow. But... Or me, like, conquering Hungary, which I mean, could happen, but not likely. So I'm just trying to get ahead militarily and economically. Um, This is my third playthrough. My first two that I played, I played um, a Dutch in Bavaria, and we didn't do that great. I, I didn't really manage my lines, my... Uh, Inheritance very well, so I ended up dying out. My second one, I actually was over here in Ireland. I started off as Desmond and made Irish Alba, which is pretty cool. And then, actually, I haven't saved. I pretty much have taken all of northern France and I'm working down in towards Paris in that, in that save. So that game's going extremely well because of the, uh, the Irish traditions. And some of their elective succession makes it a lot easier early game to keep all your titles. While playing as a more feudal nation is pretty difficult, to be completely honest. So I've had a lot of a lot more issues. All right, so I'm just gonna go fight this guy. He has allies. I have allies. I don't care. You're really weak. Let's go kill him. That's pretty much all I need. <laughs> You're done. I don't need any more than that. So, I mean, I played I played CK2 for like 10 hours, so I had a basic idea of how to start, 
but not a good idea. Damn, I'm late. Oh, no, I'm not late. I got there in time. Cool. I had a basic idea of how to play, but there's still a lot of intricacies that I need to learn. Um, this game's not a... It's kind of a... The, the longer you play it, the more things you learn about it. The good thing is, is that... Um, at least compared to CK2, I felt like it was easier to start. But obviously it's hard, still hard to master. Very difficult game to master. Especially battle tactics, I'm still learning that, that side of the game, for sure. It's not a great one, but it doesn't matter. Should take that, no problem. You need to keep... We'll go Salzburg next. I'm just going to bore bore the crap out of this. I don't care. <laughs> but the game's really fun, and... Yeah, that's kind of the plan, is, is I'm really trying to become really huge over here. And, I mean, in terms of tech, I mean, I, I've kind of prioritized learning. So, like, we're in, what, 1014? And I'm going to be able to get to High Medieval before 1050. Um, so I should be very advanced. I mean, most of the people around me have only three or four innovations. I may have... 10 or 11 by 10.50. Um, finishing up Armory Spear to move faster navally. Probably will do Bailiffs next. Um, but I really focused on getting Battlements, Burrs, Menorialism so I can upgrade all my lands quicker than everyone else. And then the movement speed is, was really nice. The land movement speed has helped me a lot. So. Potato's getting that. That's nice. I don't really want him to have it, if I'm being honest. Apostate. Once I get to learn on the job, I'll be learning even faster. And I agree about the Mongols. That's going to be fun when they show up. By the way, the strongest the strongest people in the game actually was Kazari at one point. They almost had all of Russia before they broke up. So <laughs> that was crazy. They had like 20,000 men in like 950 AD. It was terrifying. But then they couldn't do anything, so they died, as is normal. Um, I definitely don't want to. Well, that's actually not a bad province, but I don't really want to have it, per se. Who's supposed to get caught with Lon Franco? What are you supposed to get? Zero. These are all inside of what? The Corinthian duchy? Okay. Never hurts to make friends, that's for sure. Okay. Probably should go after the Serbians too. They're really weak. Also, my dynasty is pretty much all geniuses, which is nice. Um, that's helped a lot, for sure. I married two geniuses together really early, so that was fun. <laughs> uh, but overall, it's 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 been good. Let's see, he's getting crunch. Brogio. Who is? I'll wait. I'll wait until he's old enough. I'll give it to him when he's a kid. Is there anything else I can I can make? I'm gonna hold that. Crane? No one owns that land except for me. Oh! Yep, he took France back. So we may 
might get attacked by them soon. We'll see. But he's 55, so that's not. I'm not that. Actually, not that worried. For being totally honest. All right. Uh, we'll go for Hallstatt again. Ferrara. I'll lose Ferrara when she dies. It doesn't matter. I can just take it back immediately. Um, yep. Let's continue trying to stay alive here. Ooh, all being witches. That's fun, man. Um, one of my one of my goals and probably my next playthrough is to do just a total evil playthrough. Where I just do all intrigue. I've been kind of doing learning and diplomacy and kind of more of a straight straight shooter play, playthrough this time. I want to do an evil one where I'm just... The worst dude in the world. Like that that that's pretty exciting in, in my brain. My brain's like that's really cool. I want to do that. Um So we'll see um how that turns out. Doing like a uh all witches, lots of murder, you know. I try not to inbreed too much. I still inbreed a little bit because you kind of have to to try to keep the, the genius traits. And, and speaking of... Uh, actually, I have to wait to get Resilient Bloodline. But I want that too. I, I want to finish the, the Blood Tree. Uh, I'll rent some Mew for 10 bucks. Sure, I like $10. It's almost done. She's a war, isn't she? Defending its Count Rizzo of Linz. Oh, it's a tyranny war. Don't care. See, done. All right, so we go to the next battle. I'm just gonna keep fighting. Freeze all. That's pretty much all they got there. We'll just send them both to Salzburg for now. Oh my gosh, that's a bigger army than I expected. Let's stop there. Let's put that in half. Small and grow tall to intrigue. That's not a bad idea. I mean, I think that was kind of a plan is maybe to do something um, either kind of in France, because France seems to be powerful every time. Maybe like somewhere over here. Um, do intrigue and try to, like, don't be a Carling, but take the Empire of Francia via intrigue. I think it's really fun to try. Um, that may be what I do. But I'm also thinking about doing some, something like Muslim or it or uh, India or, or you know East Asia. I haven't done anything in East Asia yet. It's been all 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 Europe so far. So I kind of want to switch it up a little bit, you know, just to get a little bit different view of the game and you know just see something different, see something new. So we'll see how that goes. I'm really I don't, don't really care about being over the force here. Wow, that's impressive, dude. You need to 